So I think the predictive and testing the prediction side of the theory is becoming much, much more precise and for that reason intriguing. It sounds wonderfully down to earth. <laughs> um, and it sounds like um, you might um, solve a problem that we are about to face, which is um, when do computers become conscious? So you will be able to measure it via phi. Yes, and I'm actually very passionate about this. I consider this to be an urgent matter. And this is because you can show in IIT, and we have shown, the, the main paper is, is coming out soon, that no matter how sophisticated one of our computers is right now, the one that are able to drive cars, the one that are able to have a conversation, the ones that are able to translate a conversation and solve mathematical problems uh, and all kinds of other problems. They're not yet as good as we are in everything, but they're getting better and better and better. Mm -hmm. But if their physical substrate is that of a computer, which it is, IIT says that they have literally zero consciousness. They will be able, in principle, to do all the things we do, talk as intelligently or unintelligently as you and I do, convince you that you won't have dinner with me now, because yes, this is quite interesting, <laughs> and yet there will be absolutely nobody there. And IT is unique in this. It doesn't say computers are not because they are cold, they are machine, they don't have emotion. No, no, com computers can simulate anything. They're not there yet, but they will. Mm -hmm. And when they do that, we will not be able to tell them apart from other human beings, except for perhaps for saying they're nicer, <laughs> they behave better, <laughs> they are vastly educated, and so on and so forth. But if IIT is right, there is really a complete uh, divide there. They would be functionally equivalent to us from a point of view of what you can do with them. They are like us. They would be phenomenally absolutely different from us. They won't exist at all. Mm. And this is obviously very, very big ethical implications, as you can imagine. Yes. Whether we as a society in the end values doing, you know, what you, you get things that do things very well, mm -hmm. or values being ultimately, that you exist and you exist in that particular thing. IT makes that divide extremely sharp.